Hey guys, Connor Brown or Ultraman 100 here today. I'm going to be a demo of uh, this particular symbol and the symbol I've just got for my birthday. This is an Istanbul 20 inch alchemy ride symbol. Single machine hammered. I know, you know, he's like, oh, dude, just get a, a, a double handmade hammered man. They've got such a good sound. Well, I can't really afford them. So for all the, you know, the trolls out there, just spare me. Just spare me. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to be doing a setup on how to put these together, as well as a, I got an extra video, I suppose, it's because it's on a CB drums, probably one of the, one of the best hardware, well, symbol hardware manufacturers I've ever had the pleasure of uh, playing with that gear, and this will be on a CB drums double braced boom stand. Okay, basically, let's go. Basically, same thing as any other stand. Bring up the legs, put the pole into the side playing height. Now the boom. Right, that's going to go through your clip here with the desired angle of the mounting pin. Okay, set this to your desired symbol height and or length, or boom length, I suppose would be a better description. Make sure the teeth are engaged. And tighten up the screw. Pretty much the same with all double boom stands. D double brace boom stands, my apologies. Next, washer, of course. Next, felt. I thought the washer. Actually, you may want to slip the plastic sleeve, or the protective sleeve, over it before you put the felt on. But I just put them on after because, you know, I'm stupid. But, um, next. Symbol of choice. This could be a crash, a china. Actually, I find crap. I, I can't have crashes on the on the, on the big on the big booms like this. Oh well, like, oh, we're gonna have big crashes. Ah, uh, on booms like this, we're gonna have small crashes on straight stands that they don't have um they don't have uh these bad boys. Mostly rides and chinas and. Like huge crashes I'll have on these like uh, 18, 20 inch crashes, my 16, 10 inch crashes, you know. Not really much more than a requirement. Okay, next, another felt. That's right, we're going to really protect these symbols because these cost a fair amount. Now, it's going to be a little problematic. I've been having some trouble trying to thread the wing nut. Actually, let me. Um, okay, there's one thing, I'm going to like block your view. And for that, I apologize in advance, but I'm going to stand in front of this to thread it. There we go. That should do that just nicely. Basically, thread on your way not until it's at the right thing that you want it to be at. Right. right now, I need to move my symbol up because I'm not happy with the angle. There we go. That's a nice playing angle for me. You guys may have different preferences. Okay, sound test. Um, my stick will be a Stag 5B rock stick uh, made from American Hickory with wooden tips. These are my normal playing sticks. So let's try the rim of the cymbal first. Here we go. As you can see, it's got a nice choked sound. I'm not really sure why you'd want to play the the rim of a ride, but you know, let's go. Now the edge of the symbol here. As as you can hear, it's got a nice solid tone, and as well the point of a ride symbol it does have a nice ride to go along with the music. Let's try further in the bow, middle of the symbol. -ish. That's a pretty nice sound, pretty solid sound from this playing uh, area. Now I have a metal, um, well, well, I mean, it comes from metal, but by metal I mean metal genre of music playing. I have a metal, right? That's why this bell is so large to uh, provide accuracy. But uh, it works for rock. It's a rock metal, right? You can use it for jazz, for the down. I mean, it's really a multiple right, but it has a metal bell. And um, let's listen to that. As you can hear, it's got a nice ring to it. Okay. Um, also, if you want this to crash, it'll crash. Seriously, I'm going to try crashing this and damn, it's 
probably probably sounds like uh, probably an 18 inch crash anyway so yeah we try a little uh, ride pattern jazz ride pattern As you can hear, it has a nice, has it has that nice tangy sound that you'd expect from a ride of this quality. As you notice, it chokes really well for a ride cymbal. That was my little demonstration there. And um, we try maybe quarter, maybe some eighth notes here, so that uh, played along with the bass snare, you know, basic rock beat. You can add these to have uh, variations from the hi hats, you know. One and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Even do some sixteenth notes, you know. One and two and three and four and five. Um, really, there's no end to the things that you can use ride symbols for. They're really versatile symbols. Um. Probably one of the most important symbols on a drum kit next, the hi hat and uh, the crashes. I mean, really, having a crash symbol and a ride symbol probably the first things you could you should do for going up by China and more crashes is just to get a ride because they're really important to a kit. Anyway, um, so bit so a uh, brief summary uh, on the Istanbul Alchemy MSX 20 inch. Rock ride, uh, real nice solid tone, um, has a nice bell sound, nice large size bell, comes with good hardware. I recommend putting rides on boom stands and for a stand, CB drums, double brace. Um, thanks for watching though, guys. I've been Sound 100 or Conor Bryan.